Great, thanks. Yeah, thanks for a kind introduction. Today I'm going to talk about some cool stuff about complexity of multidimensional Bayesian mechanism. So now let's just start with the model. So we are considering the very standard Bayesian model. So in this model, there is an auctioneer and wants to sell some items. And there are n buyers in the auction. And each bidder's value of VI is drawn from a prior distribution DI. And for each round, each buyer submits a bid BI. And then a mechanism takes input takes input B1 to BN and determines which buyers get which items and how much they pay. So, and our goal is to design optimal BIC mechanisms. So here's the optimality is means uh, revenue maximizing. So here is our notation. So let OPT D1 to DN be the optimal BIC mechanism for distribution D1 to DN. And by a seminal result by Roger Myerson in 1981, so he fully characterized the optimal mechanism for single item auctions. So there is the definition for Myerson's virtual value. And he proved that for any single, single item setting, the optimal auction is to sell the item to with the highest positive iron virtual value and charge her the threshold bid. And there, uh, we observe some, remar some remarkable properties of the Myerson's auction. So, so for a single bid profile, the Myerson's auction can be implemented just knowing each bid's iron virtual value. And by looking carefully at the definition of iron virtual value, we can see the two amazing properties. The first property is called, we call it locality, which means you can implement the Myerson's auction with limited information about DI. More specifically, if each uh, DI, the prior, the prior distribution can be represented in OK bits, then the iron virtual value, phi i, can be represented in O log, M, in o log K bits. So which means you can compare the, so there is an exponential gap between the bits you need to describe the whole distribution and the bits you need to, to describe a virtual value. And the second property which is we call the bidder separability is that the, virtu the, the virtual values are bidder separable. So phi i does not depend on the other, bid, the, other bidder's virtual uh, the other bidder's prior distribution. It only depends on the, virtual value, the prior distribution of the buyer itself. So then we, we want to ask the following question is do these remarkable properties still hold in general for optimal multidimensional mechanisms. And our paper answered these two problems in negative. Okay, so in order to fully characterize the number of, inf the, um, number of bits we need about each distribution to fully implement these mechanisms, so we introduce a new complexity measure. So it's through the lens of communication complexity so we consider the following communication game is that there are two players, Alice and Bob, and Alice holds the prior distribution of the first bidder and its bid, and, and Bob holds the prior distribution D2 and, the bid, and their bids. So in our communication, the goal of the communication is to determine whether bidder one wins for the optimal auction or the bidder two wins in the optimal auction for one bid profile, B1, B2. So we can assume that the distribution has the pole size k, and each probability in this distribution can be represented within O log k bits. So here is, uh, so let's see why this communication protocol and the communication complexity exactly capture the fact that the single dimensional auction is local. So the thing is that if D1 and D2 are single dimensional auction, then the minus one auction can be solved in communication O log k bits, that's because Alice or Bob can just compute their virtual value on their own and send the virtual value in O log k bits to the other bidder, right? And the other bidder can compare the virtual value of, of the compare two virtual values and determine the winner of this auction on one bidding profile. And so let's see, our result, our first result is that if D1 and D2 are two-item unit demand auction, 
a unit demand distributions, then F requires communication omega k. So in particular, the D1 is just a two-day FedEx auction, and it's arguably the simplest multidimensional setting. And our next result is if D1 and D2 are one item auction, just with an additional constraint is with a public budget constraint, then F requires communication omega k as well. So and note that this distribution is actually single dimensional. And our proof is just from a reduction, it's a reduction from disjointness. And how to interpret our result is that our result shows that we need to know essentially the whole distribution just to, to implement the optimal auction for one bit profile. So this is a huge gap between the multi-dimensional setting and a single dimensional setting. So know that in a single dimensional setting, in order to implement the optimal auction for one bit profile, the, the auctioneer only needs to know the virtual value which can be represented in O log K bits. Okay, and this happens in the simplest possible non-Marison cases. And I want to highlight here is that the class of distributions we constructed is simple for one bidder. So there are two properties for our construction is that the first is that the optimal single bidder has a manual complexity at most two. And the optimal single bidder auction always posts a price of one on each item. So even then, the non-locality phenomena still holds in this auction, which means our, result, our complexity result is an intrinsic multi-bidder phenomena. The complexity does not come from the complexity of single bidder auction. Okay, so yesterday one of my friends told me that he believed that each great talk should have exactly one proof. So let me, let me give you a proof sketch of the FedEx setting. So here I will briefly introduce the FedEx setting. It's that the each bidder not only has their value V to item, but also a shipping option is either one day or two days. So and this imposes an additional BIC constraint, which is bidders should have no incentive to report a smaller shipping option, which means if the bidder's value is a v, V2, then, then this bidder should have no incentive to bid V1, okay? So the key idea is that we will use the Lagrangian duality framework to analyze the optimal BIC mechanisms in each case. It's either dis disjoint or not disjoint. First, we will define a mapping from the input so the input are two binary strings, x and y, to distributions. And next, we'll give a set of optimal do, do variables to every possible input. And finally, by duality argument, we can conclude that any optimal BIC mechanisms should always award the item to the bidder with higher virtue value. And this virtue value is defined by our optimal do variables. Okay, so let me give you a sense of when disjointness is yes, it's when two input strings, they are disjoint. So in this case, we are given a set of dual variables and we call this set of dual variables in the Myerson flow. And we then prove that when two strings are disjoint, the Myerson flow is an optimal dual. So here we can look at this diagram. So the horizontal axis is the value. It's the value of the, it's the value. And the vertical axis is the virtual value. And this virtual value is defined by our dual variables, Myerson flow. And you can see that in our construction when disjointness is yes. And if you look at the, the virtual value of the lowest type, V1, and you can see that the virtual value of bidder one, one day is strictly higher, but only a little bit, but it's strictly higher than the virtual value of bidder two at, the, at V1 as the lowest type. So by duality argument, we can show that for any optimal BIC mechanisms, the Myerson flow, um, the, for any optimal BIC mechanisms, the bidder one should always win when the, the, the one bid profile is V1 one day and V1, okay? So when disjointness is no, and then we try to analyze the Myerson flow again in this case. So in this case, Myerson flow is not an optimal dual any longer. Uh, that's because if you can look at the V3 here, you can see that the virtual value of B2 defined by Myerson flow jumps into the virtual value of bitter one one day and bitter two, two days. 
So which means that at V3, the uh, BIC constraints is violate in this for these two variables. So this is, which, uh, so which means this set of two, Myerson flow is not an optimal two in this case. So we need, need a new set of two variables in the non, in the non disjoint non disjoint case. So actually, we achieve this via an operation called the boosting. You can you can look at the boosting as uh, some kind of averaging process. It averaging the it average the virtual value of bit one one day and bit one two days. And under this new dual, we prove that this is actually the optimal dual when disjointness is known. And again, if you look at the virtual value at the lowest type, and you can see that the virtual value of beta two is strictly higher than the virtual value of beta one one day. And which again, by the duality argument, uh, we can prove that for any optimal BIC mechanism, beta two should always win at, at the lowest bit profile. Okay, so this to conclude, so we can conclude that we, that's, uh, we, we finished the reduction from disjointness. So when disjointness is yes, we can see that the bitter one always wins at the lowest bit profile. However, when disjointness is no, bitter two always wins at the lowest bit profile. Okay, so finally I want to emphasize that our, is our construction and our complexity is an intrinsic multi-bitter phenomena. It's, the complexity does not come from any complexity of single bitter complexity. So again, it's, a, it's just a refresh of the property of our construction. It's our, the class of distribution is simple for one bitter. In our construction, the optimal single bitter option has a manual complexity at most two. Okay. An optimal single bitter auction always pose price of one on each item, and even then, we can have the non-locality phenomena for this auction. So you can interpret our result in the following way. So it is well known that the optimal single bitter multi ion auction is intractable. And as a trivial corollary is that optimal multi bitter item auctions is intractable as well, right? So our result is even when the single bitter optimal is tractable, the multi bitter optimal can still be intractable. Cool, so I will introduce some future directions of this work. So the first one is that, notice that our technique only applies to the optimal auctions for, in our settings. So our technique cannot extend to, to our best knowledge, uh, we cannot extend this to approximately optimal multi-dimensional auctions. So here the first question is, how can we extend our results to prove positively or negatively in the setting that we care about the optimally optimal auctions. And the second one is the optimal DSIC multidimensional mechanisms local. So you can see that in our construction, the optimal auction is not DSIC, so we will not know any results that are optimal DSIC mechanisms local in the multidimensional setting. And the last one is that what are the implications of non-locality results for streaming or online learning variants of optimal auction design. We have this problem. We have this question is because for classical some streaming algorithms, they admit some lower bounds coming from the communication complexity. So we can imagine that because the, our locality complexity comes from the communication complexity, so it might have some implications in the streaming or online learning can imply some streaming or online learning lower bounds. Okay, thanks for listening, and any questions are welcome.
and then do the disaggregation? Yeah, so good question. Thanks. So the question, if I understand correctly, is that is that do we characterize the uh, optimal dual variables? Yes, we, we give a set of dual variables and we prove it is optimal dual. Okay, and then by the duality argument, we can see that any optimal mechanism should, you know, satisfy the complementary slackness with this set of dual variable, right? Uh, but it was just for two bidders, two days. Yes, just for two bidders, two days. I'm not sure if I understood correctly, but uh, if I did, you're saying optimal mechanisms cannot satisfy two properties at the same time, or not even each of them individually? Okay, so that's an excellent question. So we go back here. So you mean this property, right? Yes. Okay, so in this paper we prove that the locality part, so basically the locality part is that implement with limited information about each DI is generally impossible in multi-dimensional setting. And for the separability, it's a, it's a bit tricky, is that you can, you, you can interpret the, the virtual values in different ways. So if you require the virtual value, the, the multi-dimensional analog of virtual values, as uh, you require to have uh, succinct representations, then it is not possible because due to, it's just a simple corollary of our non-locality result. But if you mean the local value, uh, the virtual value by the optimal do variable, right? By if the optimal do variables are bit separable, then we do not have any formal relation between locality and separability. But for our construction in our paper, the optimal do variable is not bit separable. It has a very complicated dependency on, on both bidders prior. The, those dual variables, like what the dependence is, is there anything to say about it? The, the dependency? Yeah. So the dependency of virtual values, so actually it's come from the, so we made it like, so it's a reduction from this disjointness and let me see, so. So for, for our construction, the distribution, the prior distribution for each bidder is close to a uniform distribution. So, I have one more question, if there's time. Uh, there is time, but I think we the microphone doesn't work. Can, can they hear me? I think. Hello? Yes. Oh, thank you. One second. doesn't care about your So, Ariel, we are working on a technical issue. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Can you hear us, Ariel? Yeah. So, uh, can I ask something quickly? Yeah. Are there any so, connections between like this result and like many complexity for multi bidder auctions? All right. Good. So you can finish your answer to the previous okay, question I'll and then to finish, first finish Kira's question. So, so for the for our construction, the priors are pretty close to. Uh, pretty close to a uniform distribution. So you can see the optimal do variable, the virtual values, it's just like uh, monitor increasing, right? It's just like showing in, the, in this diagram. But it's, it's close to uniform, but it's not exactly uniform. So if the disjointness from change from yes to no, and you can see that the optimal do that we will jump into here. So here the idea is if x3 equals to y3, then there will, then the virtual value, the optimal do of B2 will jump into, will jump into the virtual value between B1 one, one day and B2 two, two days at V3. So that's, so that's the intuition of, of optimal do, uh, of the do variable under, for Myerson flow. And then we want to modify this flow to make it optimal. So that's basically our idea. And for, for Ariel's problem, right? And for Ariel's problem is, is that to the best of our knowledge, we actually do not know the many complexity results of multi-bidders in the Bayesian setting. So, so, and we show that there are a lot of prior results is focused on the single bidder setting, but here our results is intrinsic multi-bidder setting. 
yeah, sorry, we, we do not know any prior results that is in the molybdenum setting very well. Okay, Thank thanks. you. Sorry, that's time to